Eivor, we await your orders. You brought your weapons and armor. Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Roosester? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole.
great. Before I let you take this fortress! I'll cut you down, dead! Root sister will not fall to you, rabid pack of mongrels! Take this fortress, Dean. Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tedmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised. If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen! You handle me too roughly! You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill my men for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough! And girl, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them what they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow. I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these 
These scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? <laughs> uh, I need... I need air. <sighs> Is dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no. Rouse the man. He cannot be dead. He must not be dead. Poison. How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe. Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find full care ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. like beasts escaped from your hell today, Giedrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. They will attack on sight here. I would say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? 
Kunebird is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Cunebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. You will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnabert. Is it cloves I taste? Well. That concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Still you have Eivor, or Sigurd is lost to us. Your blood waits on the edge of my axe, Saxons! You heard the lady! Leave no one alive! Any last words, Eden? <laughs> 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 Fulke let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did, and with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come, let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer.
almost like a trap. This place swarms with Fulke's people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Caution and subtlety should be our path. Ready? Follow me. This is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit would say otherwise. This must be the way to Fulke's sanctum. Two arms!
What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Hmm. Tell me that you found something. Anything we can use! I may have! A fortress in Sussex. The Order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim, she severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tetman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready.
Avon, have you seen Wallace? Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he's alive, but not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Randri. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Randri. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Randri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. Stop there, Wolfkist! This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. 
Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag. But that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home! Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death! I accept. We settle this now. Ah! A final act of courage! Very well. Let the circle be made! I'll press you on their foot! Shit on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded you gave him, that should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. Take this. Fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, may you find it in the next. <gasps> Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unmanaged. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields. Dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That! That is my oath! That is my oath. I will 
find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl, as I promise. hearing you tell your stories, old friend. But I remember them well. There was so much we were meant to do. You are the only father I've ever had. I don't know how to draw without your hand. I do hope Sigurd knows how much he meant to you. We are beyond the time of telling such things now. Tovi. Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty, not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready, and I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work, as if nothing happened, because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give, but all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know you are valued.
Evo. How do you feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydon by now. Red basket of Wessex, land of plenty.
Thor lends me strength. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Guttrum Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry! You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane, and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd ruts in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendine. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfield. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. Eivor has brought many allies together from all over the land. Like these two fine fellows. Brother and Broder, was it? Careful, Saxon. We're here for the killing, not to make friends. Spread your wings, Sunan.
They said there would be a scout in this. They said there would be a. They said there would be a scout in this hill. I smell blood on the air. See you, old friend. Conspecto hominum quale dilex.
Survey the area, Sunan. Yeah! I should not be seen Off in this area. You. the side. Interesting. This scout was carrying orders from Fulcane. Basim would like to see this. I have seen to the scouts. Basim and Guthrum will be waiting in the woods east of Porchester.
Best raise my hood here. Hey, let him. What's going on? Need your eyes, my friend. Look soon in What do you see, Sunan? <laughs> Show me what lies ahead.
asked about this lamp, my friend. Yo! are dead and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. Leaders should not second guess themselves. Nobody respects a tremble heart. I have known plenty as brash as you. Not many are left in this world. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croydon's fall. She's gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I'm reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breast for the fight. I'll kill you! Chester! They flee like rabbits! 
Then we chase them like hounds. That ugly bastard's head is mine. Not if I get there first, slow arse. Leave him. The day is already won. Soon enough. Is it for that wicked bag of skin you fight? For Sigurd the sickly. If Sigurd dies today, we'll find your corpse and piss on it. You bear your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. When you see your god, tell him I sent you. He is dead, Eivor. You are wounded, Broder. Let me bear your brother to the camp. This crow feast is my doing. No blame. Reckless stripling. I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? Many have died, my friend here among them. The fault is mine. Knowing that is shame enough. Small comfort that is to the dead. What happened here? Uba, Soma. You come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift, gather your allies, pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I'm not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here, arrive unexpected. 
Erke, Stowe. Right there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people. But a debt is a debt. We will leave immediately. Besides, they're men of Vesex. Alfred's folk. No brothers of yours. After that, we should strike at Fulke supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gildeford, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gildeford. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gildeford. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I will join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uber, I apologize. I would have liked to offer a better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. We need a short while to organize the men. Then we'll set off as soon as we're able. 